1200 meters. Opening leg of the bye part, that's it. They are sprinting away from the 1200 meter marker. Not a bad beginning this one. Rudolfina is right there shortly after the start. Valatone is very quick. The red sleeves and cap. Veronese among the leading group. Light beams there. Cape teaser. Alpioni. They are followed by Love Conquers All, who's two off the right hand side. And Fiery Goddess is at the extreme right hand side. Syringa with the blue cap races about four lengths off the leader. They are followed by Zara the Princess. Further back, Jacqueline Jetsetter is on the inside. Then Royal Risk. It's quite compact. Those first eight or nine runners. Violetone just about the leader, Alpioni's right there, Cape Teaser, Veronese is right over on the inside, Jacqueline Jet's header between them, Zyra the Princess tries to get into the race, Fiery Goddess is starting to come forward in the middle of the track, Syringa's under pressure, then Jolly Bebop, Nua Dubai comes around them, Fiery Goddess now comes to Alpioni, down the inside, Violetone still tries to keep on, but Fiery Goddess hit the front over the last 150, Nua Dubai's trying to run on from behind, but it's Fiery Goddess going on to win. Second place, Nua Dubai. Third, El Peone, Violetone. And behind that one, Love Conquers All. Number 10, Fiery Goddess is victorious and is the tote favourite at four and a win, 150 a place, overcoming the widest draw of all. And Fiery Goddess wins by about a length and a quarter. Number 13, Noor Dubai, very good run from the filly by Archie Penko, went to the start throwing its head up and head up in the air, so that's a very good run. Alpioni also, first timer, runs into third, fourth to Violetone, and then number 12, Love Conquers All, second time at the track, also widely drawn, and then Syringa, watch over more ground, Jolly Bebop, Varanese is on the inside, and then came Zara, the Princess, Royal Risk is further back as we look at the head-on. So the winner is on the right-hand side. Fiery Goddess comes on well, starts to drift more towards the inside. Still green. Uh, George the Pony led this filly down for a couple of metres. And Alpioni and Noor Dubai. So keep an eye on Noor Dubai, Alpioni and a couple of those runners finishing in the placings and the place getters. That's the running of the second race. Our third race, that is over 2,000 metres on the stand sack. Take note, the distance changed to 2,000 metres. Starts off our PA, back to the studio. Daughter of Toriador, Fiery Goddess, bred by the Alchemy, has come through to win second time of asking. She was drawn up the extreme outside, which was a bit of a concern. She ended up right on the inside. Yeah, listen, the plan was sort of to get towards the middle, you know. Uh, maybe with the rain, it sort of evened things out a bit. I don't know if it was just greenness or, you know, why she ended up hanging to the inside. Quickened up with authority at the 300 and then just went on to, to win effortlessly, suggesting a bit further could even be up her alley? Yeah, maybe, you know, but she came out rolling today. She's obviously not as green as she was first time. And, uh, yeah, listen, hopefully maybe she will go a bit further. You're looking to keep a 100% record, Sabre Edge, rested and gelded? Yeah, rested and gelded, but I think he's done enough work at home. He, you know, he should be fit enough to, to give a good account of himself there. Showing that good work in the mornings? Yeah, no, he shows good work. Just obviously we're all done to George Nikos, Mr. Arizis and uh, Jill. Go enjoy some lunch. We'll catch you later. Thanks. Sean Cormack doing all the jet setting around the country. He's brought home Fiery Goddess. Always going to be your plan to drift towards the centre inside? <laughs> <laughs> Let's just say middle was my, was my plan. Her plan was to go to the inside. Um, yeah, she quickened, She did everything right. And uh, she quickened up to win the race and to put it to bed. And, uh, and then, uh, you know, look, first time she was drawn right, she, she raced right up against that inside. So maybe it was just, you know, a, a form of habit. But... Uh, she did drift quite badly towards the inside and uh, obviously you know there's concerns when there's horses running on from behind but she'd basically put the race to bed and then uh, and then just made it a little bit difficult for herself when she started hanging but uh, she was a really nice filly uh, you know her first run was progressive um, she was it was a little bit sharp first she was a little bit slow and she got into the race late um, but she came on immensely I mean today I don't know if you saw her but she was a lot more fiery today and uh, yeah, let's just hope that she can, can keep her temperament you know, in, intact and, uh, and she could be decent. You're riding two horses later, a horse called Viva Le Voir. He's unbeaten. And then Sabre Edge at the back. You'll be looking to a clean sweep today? Viva Le Voir is an ap absolute machine. I mean, uh, you know, obviously I had, the, had the, the, the fortune of riding him his first three starts and 
and uh, and then he obviously duly obliged for Charlie and um, he's he's just a classy sort and uh, I know Charlie's got a plan for him so let's just hope that uh, he gets it all right today and um, and then you know Charlie can obviously uh, go go on from there. Um, the horse at the back, you know, obviously a long layoff, uh, smart smart sort um, problems. So we just got to hope that um, you know his his fitness doesn't doesn't trouble him too much. We've done as much as we can with him to get him into a race and to get him ready to win. Um, and and he is a decent sort. I didn't think it was overly strong race. So let's hope we can get away with it. But he is a nice type. As always, thanks very much for the feedback and all the best with the rest of the afternoon. Thank you. Thank you very much to, obviously, to the owners and, uh, and to my boss in Cape Town. Stu is doing a phenomenal job here. And, uh, and to my sponsor, Highlands, thank you very much. Um, you know, there's some big meetings coming up in Cape Town. Let's hope they can get a little bit of coverage. Thank you. Super. Thanks a lot. Well done to jockey Sean Cormack, number 10, Fiery Goddess, drawn towards the extreme outside, coming to the 300 down the centre and then hung right across towards the inside. Certainly a horse that's going to win her fair share once she starts to run straight.